What's up squad, welcome back to the channel. In the past, I've done class setup videos for beta, particularly going over search and destroy classes. Well, the only problem with doing an SND class video on the Modern Warfare beta is that there isn't search and destroy. We do have cyber attack though, which is not the same thing, but similar enough to where the class setups aren't really going to differentiate themselves from cyber tech and search and destroy. You're going to keep them kind of the same. So I went ahead and did a poll on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, Twitter slash Dylan Seek, it's linked in the description of every video. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitch too. Twitch.tv slash Dylan Seek also linked in the description. Now, I did a poll on Twitter and asked you guys if you wanted me to go ahead and do a cyber attack slash SD class video. And you guys said yes. So we're here, we have a class for you for you guys. We'll go over kill streaks, field upgrades, and all the classes that I've been finding the best to run in Search and Destroy. I always like to start off these videos by saying what works for me may not work for you. So if you watch this video, you think my classes are terrible, you think I'm terrible, and you leave a comment telling me I'm a moron, I'm gonna ignore it and maybe even delete it because I really don't care. Just don't leave a comment like that. I don't care, you're not forced to watch it, you're not forced to use these classes. If you want to change up one attachment on the class, you go for it, you make it work for you. Because what works for me may not work for you. I'm just telling you guys what I use, and you can customize them to meet your needs, or use the same class and see if it works if you like my playstyle, and you feel we have a similar playstyle to begin with. Anyways, though, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Join the Seek Squad, hope you guys are having fun of the MW Beta. I don't know about you guys, but... Weekend 2 has been a lot more fun for me than Weekend 1. Weekend 1 was kind of aggravating. Weekend 2, I'm actually kind of having a really good time. Let me know what you guys think. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, starting off, I've only got five classes in the beta, so I've kind of set it up and started playing around with them. Uh, and I've kind of braced off what I've been using in, in Cyber Attack. I just finished streaming Cyber Attack, and I set up these class setups and was using them. So we're going to start off with the Rush class setups. I have two of them, both using the same gun, running the MP5, what I have found to be like my personal favorite SMG to run in the game. I don't know about you guys. A lot of people love the MP7 and the AUG. I originally loved the AUG, but the MP5 has just become my favorite. I'm not saying it's necessarily the best, but it has definitely become my favorite weapon to run, and it, it, it might be the best. It, it's probably the best. Continuing on, though, for the Rush Cloud, we're going to go right into the perks right off the bat. For my Rush setups, I'm running Double double Time, High Alert, and Battle Hardened. I'm running Double Time, so you can obviously run faster. When you do your Double Sprint, you can increase your movement speed with Crouch by 30%, and it doubles the duration of your Double Sprint itself. So off the bat, you can rush up really quick. Second perk, I'm running High Alert. Basically, it's the it's the same perk like Marksman. It was Marksman from Modern Warfare 3, where you look at somebody, if enemy aims on you or looks at you, you, your screen like highlights, and it lets you know you're there. In this game, there's lots of areas you can't see, so if the highlight comes on, duck and cover. That's basically the only thing you can do. You die so quick in this game, I see the highlight come on my screen, I just duck for cover and try to figure out where they are. But it is helpful to have, especially on maps like Grazna Raid. That map is so helpful to run high alert. And then perk three running Battle Hardy, which is essentially Tac Mask. Lots of flashes in this game. Having Tac Mask is very helpful. Continuing on to the attachments on the weapon. Running the MP5, I'm running Lightweight Barrel, a laser sight, because I guess why the hell not? A uh, pistol grip. Uh, I'm running I'm running the wounding perk because it just it makes it when you hit marker enemies, it makes it take longer for them to heal. Kind of helpful if you both get shot because then you can rush them and they can't rush you. It's pretty much everyone runs this perk, so it kind of also evens the playing field. But when the game drops and we get access to more perks, I feel like this one's going to be really good to run because less people are going to be inclined to use it, I feel like. They're going to unlock later ones like FMJ and Slide of Hand, especially Slide of Hand. People are going to love running Slide of Hand over something that, you know, literally makes it harder for enemies to heal which I find very helpful and useful. And then I've got a lightweight stock. And I maybe ask yourself, Seek, why are you running these attachments? Well, lightweight barrel, because your aim down sight speed goes faster. Basically, I set up the SMG class because this is a rush class. I just try to make myself go as quick as I possibly can. There's so many attachments in this game. It took me a while to kind of figure out how I wanted to set up the class to, or to figure out what attachments I wanted to run. And moral of it is I just kind of made it so I just could run really fast and get to the positions as quickly as possible because I found that people running the same perks as me and the same weapon were beating me and I wanted to figure out why and I figured out why because some of these attachments do affect your movement speed while holding an astral SMG. They get very specific so you got to be careful and read the descriptions. Uh, I have the laser sight on because hit fire because why not? Didn't know what else to put on so I just threw a laser sight in there just because why not? Um, the barrel aimed on sight speed goes up and it doesn't, and the only con is bolt velocity which is 
eh, but like that doesn't isn't that big of a deal as long as it doesn't make it so I run slower. Uh, I got a lightweight stock so I can my aim while walking is a lot faster and it doesn't it just doesn't affect the weight. I just put all the attachments to make me move faster with the SMG, my pistol grip so I can aim down sight faster, and my sprint to fire speed is a whole lot quicker. So essentially the pistol grip is dexterity, basically. Uh, and then obviously the perk I just went over. That's what I'm running for the SMGs. Now the other class I am running, I have two rifle classes. The only difference is I got rid of high alert and put on ghost. This is the class, essentially when I started a game, I put on the MP5, this rush class with high alert. If I'm losing or whatever reason, they start getting UAVs or start getting beat, but I still want to keep rushing. Like, this is like the, like, you know, lose the first couple rounds, but think he can still bring it back and destroy them. I put on this class so I can run ghosts so they can't see me. And then I try to get behind them and rush through them and blow them away. And then I have a secondary. Secondaries don't really matter in this game. Just run a pistol. The Deagle's better than 19, so I have the Deagle on. You don't really have any options with secondaries at the moment. Continuing on, we have got my rifle class. M4A1, best assault rifle in the game that we have access to. There's a lot of other good rifles. AK-47, really good. M13, really good. The FAMAS, which currently the max level on the beta is 20 at the time we're recording this. Tomorrow, it is currently, I'm recording this, 8.30 p.m. Friday night. So, tomorrow we are most likely getting the level cap up to 25 or 30. It will get you a chance to use the FAMAS. Put the FAMAS on. If you use the default class, it is insane. I wish I could give you an attachment combo for it, but I'll run the same perks I have on this M4 class. M4 class, replace it with the FAMAS. Unlock attachments for it, but the FAMAS is really good. Other weapons we aren't going to get to use in the beta that are really good. A lot of people haven't noticed. Starting off, the Odin. If you use that in the alpha, we get that at level 28, 28. Another one to try out, but most importantly, the one right below the Odin that we can't use in the beta. I don't know if you guys noticed the Kilo 141, also known as the ACR. I told you guys I saw in the pregame lobby, however long ago that was when we first saw gunfight gameplay. I saw in the pregame lobby that there was an ACR. Here it is. It is the Kilo 141. That weapon in the full game is probably going to be unbelievable. I would keep your eye out. And then same, we also have the Foul and the Scar. The Rosola Rifle category looks pretty freaking deadly. In the beta, though, the M4 seems to be the favored one. And at long-range gunfights, the M4 is my favorite one as well. Attachment to combo, I'm running the Heavy Duty Barrel for the damage range of bullet velocity. Aim down sight speed is a little slower, but this isn't an SMG. So running slower isn't exactly a big deal to me because I just kind of head glitch and hang back and blow anybody that pushes me out of the water. Um, optic, there's a lot of optic towards it. really is mainly preference. I prefer the holographic. I originally started out hating the holographic, but I've grown to really like it. Just that extra zoom in it gives you. I really am starting to like it. Um, got stock on it, of course. Got the lightweight stock because the heavyweight stock, I don't like the con. The con for the heavyweight stock is the aim walking movement speed is slower, whereas I want it to be faster, which is what the lightweight stock does, so I prefer to have that one on. My perk, I've got the wounding perk on yet again, allowing me enemies to take longer to heal after I shoot them. And then I got a vertical grip because it's super, super, super long range to the people that run the, the snipers and the... Uh, the default, default for Moss class sitting on head glitches. Being able to pick them off the head glitch, the vertical grip really does help with that. So that's what I've been running. Perks wise, I've been running double time, high alert, and battle hardened. Same attachments, or same perks I am running on my SMG classes. Running double time for the sake of trying to get to the place I'm wanting to go to as quickly as I can. Just to get there as fast as, as I possibly can. So that I can be ready for the gunfight. And then of course, high alert, battle hardened. I went over the perks the same reason why. I just use them in different scenarios, basically. I use them in different ways. I play a lot slower, but I still want to rush up to a certain position point or a certain head glitch to pick people off as they run and push me. And then I have a frag and a flash on this as well, which is the same thing I'm running on the rush classes. I forgot to mention My bad. Uh, continuing on, though, next rifle class. Now, this is the camp camp class. I late join in. It is 04. I want to get the comeback and cyber attack. I want to kick their ass, but I am absolutely screwed because they all have streaks class. That's what this is. We got the M4, same attachment combo, got the Deagle. The perks, though, we are camping our balls off. We have EOD, which is flak jacket, so they can't nade or clamor us or whatever. It, it just it saves us, gives us an extra life for that. Battle hardened because tack mask, so they can't flash us and push. And then high alert. So if I'm getting if I'm peeking a window and I'm getting aimed and I don't see somebody, I will know that somebody sees me. And then I've got a claymore to cover my back. So I'm sitting on a head glitch and I have a corner behind me, or I'm in a room, or I want to block a doorway. I have a claymore to do that. And of course, a flash. Moving on to the final class on the list. This is the class that I really wasn't sure. I wanted to share, but my teammate who found this Carnage J-God already shared it in one of his videos, so I thought I might as well share it. It is the broken setup in Modern Warfare, and the, and the weapon I'm running on it is the M13, which is by far my favorite weapon in the beta. I didn't think a rifle would be my favorite gun, but this is like this is like the Peacekeeper or the Honey Badger 
of this game it's just that rifle you run when you want to be able to kill smgs close range but also challenge long range gunfire it's just that rifle that's just overall good in pretty much every scenario and i really like it it's that it's a mid-range rifle it's consistent I've really enjoyed it in the beta. When the fir first day of the beta, when everybody was terrible at this game, this this rifle was my home because it was the only gun I could actually do good with. Because the first day of the beta was brutal, man. It was brutal. It took a while to get pretty good at the. It took a while to get decent at this game. But attached to running on the M13 is muzzle brake, the GI mini reflex, which this sight is the last one. You, is one of the last ones you unlock, but it is an awesome, simple red dot. It's so good, so clean. You have this sight, it's it, it's beautiful, run it. You got the vertical grip for the recoil, when we challenge longer range gunfights. This weapon has recoil because it's kind of a mid-range, mid-range, close-range rifle. So having a vertical grip is helpful when you challenge with long range. And we've got the pistol grip, so we just start ADS and sprint to fire speed is just a lot quicker. It's much better to run for when you run into an SMG close range. And then we've got wounding on is the perk. Wounding is the perk I have on all my weapons because it's it's just really good to run, I feel like. Um, but yeah, those are the setups we are, those, those are the tasks we're running. Now the perks in this setup now this is the setup that is literally broken modern warfare if you've seen people run it if you know what it is then you know what i'm talking about but like i said my teammate carnage j god was the one who came across this uh we are running for our perks here double time restock and shrapnel double time so we can rush up to whatever building we are going to camp in and get there quick enough to throw down claymores once we throw down those claymores restock Gives us another claymore every 30 seconds. And shrapnel gives us two claymores so that we can uh, so that we can throw down more than one in one building. And explosive damage is delay. So basically shrapnel is wounding, but for explosive damage. And then of course, like I said, we're running a claymore. It is the ultimate camp. Let them push me. I will not die. I am king of the hill setup. It is broken. It is hilarious. You can use it, but please just don't use it against me. <laughs> it's that class setup that will piss off anybody, and it pisses off me running into it. But it is really fun to use, and it is really good, so I feel like I had to include it in my best class video. So there it is. That class setup is broken. Those are my five classes. Hope you guys like them. If you don't, like I said, what works for me may not work for you. These are what I have found work for me in the game and I enjoy. If you have any questions about certain things or you have any suggestions or ask me like why I ran this over this or whatever, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer. Now, kill streaks. To end it off real quick, kill streaks and my field upgrades. Kill streaks, I run a UAV four kills. Personal UAV is okay, but I don't know. I don't like the way it like pings them on the map and it kind of makes it where like because it like hovers above you, kind of gives away your position too. Not a huge fan of it. Just regular running UAV it helps out the team too. And then I'm running a cruise missile because it's essentially a predator missile. It's just harder to aim, but uh, it's better than precision airstrike. The precision airstrike would not recommend. Not very good in this game. Uh, cruise missile much better to run, and you could kind of look at the look with the cruise missile to see where other enemies are, so you kind of know where you want to move after you drop it. And then eight kills. I run the Vital Jet, which is essentially the Harrier strike. If you don't use the Harrier. In Modern Warfare 2, if you never got a chance, the Harrier is awesome. I love it. If I'm not running the Harrier, then I'm running the Chopper Gunner. If the Chopper Gunner is two more kills, and honestly, I like the Harrier more. The Harrier is unbelievable in this game. It shreds people. Now, field upgrades. Don't really have that many options. The Ployable Cover, whatever, kind of, eh, sucks, whatever. Munitions Box, we're not going to need that in Cyber Attack or Search and Destroy. Recon Drone is the best one, best one to run right now because it lets you see where enemies are, which is helpful, but... When the game actually drops, the best one to run by far is going to be Dead Silence, which we don't have access to in the beta, but Dead Silence is a field upgrade. It's essentially Exomute from Advanced Warfare. You just have Dead Silence for a limited time. That is going to be the one to run for sure because footsteps in this game are so loud. Being able to have Dead Silence to at least turn it on while you're rushing or pushing or sprinting or whatever is going to be really helpful, especially if you go on a flank having Dead Silence and not having them not have to crouch walk on your flank like you do now. Being able to actually move fast to get behind them is going to be really helpful. Dead Silence is the one to... Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Join the Seek Squad. Like I said, works for me, may not work for you. Don't leave me an angry comment, but if you have any questions about what I'm running or if you have any suggestions, like have you tried this yet or whatever, leave me your favorite class to run down below. I'd be happy to give it a go. And don't forget... We get new weapons tomorrow, including the FAMAS and possibly even the Odin, depending on how many uh, how many levels they give us. They give us to 25 or 30. It's going to be one or the other. I have a feeling they're just going to bump us to 30. We'll see, though. Uh, well, we will see how that goes. Anyways, though, I will catch you on the next one. Seek and Destroy. This was it. <laughs>